Welcome to the North Gate. I'm Aitan Zakaias, and this is the channel for truth. Here, you will be learning about the Bible, the Bible in its uncut form, raw, gritty, and with no filter. So if your heart pumps Kool-Aid, this ain't the channel for you. All praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, HaMashiach, Yahweh Shah. For the priest's lips to keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Shalom, Shalom, Israel. The nonsensical, megalomaniac, convoluted thinking of the heathen that has been enforced through the countless years of oppression has put a thick fog over a glass that was once crystal clear. And as we fulfill prophecy by returning to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and the ways of old, that fog is now being lifted, and the vision of the truth is coming into clear focus for the children of God. There has been plenty of wild theories, carnal stories, and fumbling in the dark, attempting to grasp the understanding of the forbidden fruit that lies in the midst of the Garden of Eden. So before we start this lesson, I would like you to clear away all preconceived notions concocted by Pastor Pork Chop, heathen evangelists, and media cap doctrine propaganda. Now let's begin and build on a foundation of truth. Precept, the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 17. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. The thing that we need to pay attention to here is the simple fact that the fruit of this tree gave one the knowledge of good and evil. So prior to eating that tree, Adam and Eve had no knowledge of the concept of good and evil, nor could they conceive the gravity of such works. Similar to a pit bull mauling a child to death, the animal simply has no understanding that killing a child is an evil deed. So what gives one the knowledge that killing is evil or having charity towards your brother is good? Precept, the book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 4. And he saith unto them, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath days or to do evil, to save life or to kill? But they held their peace. So quite simply put, the knowledge of good and evil came when they attained God's laws, statutes, and commandments, which were embedded in the fruit that sat in the tree in the center of the garden of righteousness. Precept, the book of Genesis, chapter three, verse 22. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. So without eating of that fruit, they wouldn't have known that disobedience to the Lord was an evil thing. Therefore, giving birth to sin strengthened by the knowledge of the law. Precept, the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 56. The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. So without the law, there would be no sin, and without sin, there would be no death. Precept, the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shai HaMashiach our Lord. The seed of the law is an actual people, stemming from the great vine of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And since that seed has been planted in the children of Israel, brothers and sisters, I want you to know that if you don't grow that seed, into a flourishing tree by obeying the commandments and keeping the faith, bearing good fruit unto the Lord, you're going to be seen fit for nothing more than kindling for the fire. Precept, the book of Second Ezra, chapter 9, verse 30 through 33. And thou spakest, saying, Hear me, O Israel, and mark my words, 
thou seed of Jacob. For behold, I sow my law in you, and it shall bring fruit in you, and ye shall be honored in it forever. But our fathers, which have received the law, kept it not, and observed not thy ordinances. And though the fruit of thy law did not perish, neither could it, for it was thine. Yet they that received it perished, because they kept not the thing that was sown in them. As we transgress the law for millennium, failing to keep these laws, the burden has been heavy on our people, and alone the task is insurmountable. So every day, I'm thankful that the Lord has sent His Son to make something otherwise impossible possible by covering our filth with the blood of His death. So in closing Israel, the fruit that Adam and Eve ate woke them up to the knowledge of God's laws. How else would one know what was good and what was evil? Shalom. Yo fam, Shalom, Shalom, it's your brother Icon. Ah, let's get it. Man, let's get on these law sessions and commandments and we're trying to get a body. Man. Hey, do it. I'm going to ride till I die or the kingdom rise. I'm trying to float up in the sky with your Howard Shah. Lord, save me for you burn them with the flames of fire. Destroy the heathen, all places to the most high. I burnt my hand on the stove up in hell's kitchen. Lord, no, I know these Israelites don't listen. I'm on a mission to fight against the son of perdition. Battle wicked and the slaves.